Hi everyone, thank you very much for watching my video and for subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please click the subscribe button. And today I'm going to teach you how to install the air filter of uh, the VW Tiguan. This is basically the part number. Is man filter. Is part number C35154. One. So basically, yeah, this is the part number. Uh, you can do a screen capture. So anyway, this is basically where the air filter casing is. What you need is this tool right here, uh, TI T24. Uh, so yeah, T20 basically. So anyway, yeah, you only need a screwdriver for this one. And again, this is the part. The filter is gonna look like this. See. So it's, this is really, really easy. So to change it, yeah, you don't have to uh, pay anyone to replace this for you. You can just go buy it online. This one is only like thir uh, $13. It's really, really cheap. So anyway, let's show you how to do it. Basically, they are, uh, Brenna, could you show them how many screws? They are like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight screws basically that you need to remove to open this uh, air filter. So let, let's start with one. So yeah, you, you don't want to lose the the screws of this one. It's, they're pretty long. Because if this fault is gonna go to the oblivion. <laughs> I almost lost that one. Yeah, there are a lot of screws, so just put it on on this side. Yeah, it's pretty easy. It's just there are too many screws. That's why. Other than that, it's an easy job to do. Two and uh, three. Yeah, the screw is really long. So yeah, so basically uh, you just have to remove all the screws that I show you. Yeah, right now I have a Canon filter. I'm gonna take it out and clean it up and oil it. While I'm cleaning it up and oiling it and drying it, I'm gonna put the paper filter I'm just doing this for for the video you know so you guys know how to change the air filter Brenna so basically uh, right now I have the Canon air filter so I'm just doing this you know so you guys know how to change your own air filter uh, by yourself so you can either use Canon or the man filter uh, C35 uh, C35 uh, one five four uh, paper filter so either way is fine but for this video I have I bought a new filter for you guys to see yeah there are a lot of screws here so be, be really careful with the screw in the back here because this one can fall down and it's gonna be hard to retrieve okay. there it goes. actually um, I'll teach you a trick it's easier when you remove this the battery casing so you can reach. There you go. It's right here. Actually to make it even easier you can just remove the whole battery out. So but nah I don't need it. So so anyway, see so yeah, I have like three more screws. Yeah, it's, it's really long, the screws, and yeah, VW put a lot of screws in it. Yeah, I think I, it's going to be the last one soon, so 
Yeah, it's very important to have a clean air filter because um, it really uh, affects your engine performance when your air filter is dirty. So you always want to check your air filter. I'm going to show it to you what a dirty air filter looks like. And with KNN, you can use it up to 100 a uh, thousand miles and you can reuse it over and over again as long as you clean it I'll show you in a second see basically look that's the Canon air filter look look at the difference well, actually it's still clean see that the Canon is still clean see, see look how how big it is the difference between the Canon and the paper air filter so since this one is clean it's good to inspect it once in a while and I'll show you something. <clears throat> once the Canon air filter is dirty, uh, you have to buy this power cleaner. You want to spray it all over and then you rinse it with water and then you... Uh, okay, this is the Canon uh, air filter cleaner, the spray. That's basically how it looks. And this is the Canon uh, air filter oil. Once you wash it, you re-oil it again. So it looks like it's still clean. So yeah, it's good. Basically, today is I'm not gonna change it with the paper air filter. I'm just gonna keep this. So basically, what you wanna do, you just put it here. Look how big it is. Okay. Do you need the cold air intake? The answer is no. Do not spend three hundred fifty dollar. On the Canon uh, cold air intake, what's gonna happen here? Uh, look at this. VW actually already have its own cold air intake. When when your car moves, the cold air comes from the outside, goes through this, and it goes to here. It goes through this pipe, and it goes right there. Basically, if you put the Canon cold air intake. You're just gonna be wasting three hundred fifty dollars. I don't know how much, but probably around four hundred, you know, three fifty to uh, four hundred dollars. So yeah, do not buy the Canon uh, cold air intake for your VW Tiguan. It's a waste of money because VW Tiguan actually have a very good, uh, very effective uh, cold air intake already. The air, the cold air is drawn from here. It goes through here. It went here. You know, it gets, it goes straight to your engine. So, I recommend just use the filter. The filter is only $59. It's, uh, it's very uh, efficient for airflow. Look at that, how thick it is, the air uh, uh, paper filter. So, anyway, yeah, yeah buy the Canon fil I mean, filter, but do not uh, use the Canon cold air intake. You don't want to waste money on it. Because the thing is, uh, if you Google it, there are so many people who have check engine light after they... Uh, install the cold air intake because what happened is mess up the you know the computer and it will give you a, a check engine light so just google it uh, just to verify what I said because I've, I've, I've done so many research and yeah VW engineers actually very smart uh, the cold air from the outside it got sucked into this uh, air box flows through here so and that's really really neat so look at that so yeah, you don't really need to buy or waste your money on the cold air intake, you know. The thing is, if you, when you install the cold air intake, you ended up removing the whole box and you ended up getting, what, the hot air from the engine. You don't want that. The cold air intake becomes the hot air intake, so you don't want to waste your money. Just leave the stock, uh, you know, air box alone. And yeah, you can buy the uh, Canon air filter, that's fine. But don't waste your money on the uh, Canon uh, cold air intake. So anyway, this is basically how you do it once you inspect it. So I don't need this. So yeah, again, let's recap. Uh, if you want to stick around and yeah, the Canon filter actually is more expensive than the paper filter. This one is like uh, $59. This one is only $13. But this one, once it's dirty, you have to dispose it and buy a new one. So anyway, uh, yeah, again, this is the part. C35. One four, uh, one five four, one. So anyway, yeah. Thank you so much again for watching my video and for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please like the video, and I know some of you are watching without subscribing. Please subscribe to this channel. 
because I'm gonna make more videos. So again, yeah, once you're done inspecting the air filter, you just uh, grab all the screws and tighten it back on. So yeah, I won't waste your time <laughs> uh, watching how I tighten the screw again. So anyway, thank you so much again for watching guys. Love you guys and please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Bye!